Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to learn two very special triangles. The first triangle I want to introduce is the 45-45 right triangle. Now, in a right triangle, if one of the two acute angles is 45, the other one has to be 45. It doesn't even need to be marked that it is because all three angles add up to 180. And the thing, the ratio is, is this. The two sides that are across from the 45, the adjacent and opposite sides, depending on which angle you're referring to, but these two sides are always equal in length. It's an isosceles triangle. So if one side is seven in length, the other side's also going to be seven, the two sides that are congruent. The hypotenuse is always going to be the exact same length times the square root of two bigger. So for instance, this problem that we're given here, it's easy to find the length of C because it's just going to be five, the same measure that was the two congruent sides, times the square root of two bigger. And so that's what you would type in here. You would actually type in five square roots of two. It's just times the square root of two bigger. Now, I also want, want to do one that's going in the opposite direction. Let's say you were given this triangle, right triangle, that's a 45-45 right triangle, and you were given the hypotenuse. Then what you would need to do is divide by the square root of two. Each of these two equal sides would be seven divided by the square root of two. But remember, we do not like square roots in the denominator, so we would have to rationalize that before we type in the answer. I would take that seven over the square root of two, and I would times it by one, which is the square root of two over the square root of two. That's what I mean by one. So I'm not changing its value. I'm just changing the way it kind of looks, which gives me seven square roots of two over two, which if you'll notice, it might even be easier just to say this. When you're going from the hypotenuse to one of the two legs, you just take the seven and multiply it by the square root of two over two. So again, going from the leg to the hypotenuse, you multiply by the square root of two. Going from the hypotenuse to the leg, we would multiply by the square root of two over two. Because guess what five times the square root of two times the square root of two over two is? It's going to be five. So Remember that little ratio. Take a moment, pause, and write that down. Now I'm going to go introduce you to the 30-60 right triangle. Here we have an example of a 30-60 right triangle. Now again, I want to emphasize that they don't even need to tell you that the one angle is 60. If they tell you one is 30 and the other one's a right angle, the other one has to be 60 because the three angles add up to 180. Likewise, if they say this one's 60 and don't tell you that one's 30, it's still a 30-60 right triangle. Now, this is the ratio of these sides. It doesn't matter the size. The smallest side, just consider that to be your base angle or your base length, and you double it if you go to the hypotenuse. You times it by the square root of three if you go to the longer leg, the side that's across from the 60. So for here, since I have the hypotenuse, which is the 2a, to go from the hypotenuse to this shorter side, I would just divide it by two or to cut it in half. So this would be nine. If I was to go now to the longer leg, the side across from the 60, it would be nine square roots of three. So again, write this down, that these are the ratios of the three sides. The shortest side, whatever it, give, it gives you to, double it to get the hypotenuse times it by the square root of three to get the longer or the longer leg. Now I want to do a quick example of this red one here. Let's say they give you the longer leg, the side that's across from the 60. What you do is you divide by the square root of three to get to the shorter side. Or maybe even more better is just like the square root of two one, what you do is you multiply by the square root of three over three to get to this shorter side. So this would be eight square roots of three divided by three. And I want to make sure you realize what I did was I really just divided by the square root of three and then I rationalized the denominator by multiplying by the square root of three over the square root of three. Because remember, when we type in our final answers, 
we don't want to have any square roots in the denominator of our fraction. So I get eight square roots of three over three. That's why I say multiply by the square root of three over three if you're going back from the, sh the longest leg to the short side. And then if I was to go to the hypotenuse, I would just double this. I would make it 16, because that's eight doubled, square roots of three over three, just times it by two. And now I have the longest side. But this one here, we were just asking for the shorter side, so I type in nine. So I'll show you how quickly I can do some of these. Seven square roots of three, that's across from the longer side. So I'm gonna divide by the square root of three or multiply by the square root of three over three, whichever is easier. Since it has a square root of three, I'm just gonna divide by the square root of three and get seven as my shorter length. Here, 30, 60, again, divide by the square root of three, going from the side that's across from the 60, the longest side to the shortest side. So this would be 10. And then from here, I double that to go to the hypotenuse. So again, that was two steps. I first divided by the square root of three to get the shortest side, and then I double the shortest side to get the hypotenuse. So my hypotenuse is going to be 20. Again, it gives me the hypotenuse, so I'm going to cut it in half to get the shorter side, which is square root of three, and then I'm gonna multiply by the square root of three to get the longer leg. And square root of three times square root of three is just three. So again, it's all a matter of multiplying or dividing by the square root of three or doubling or cutting in half. Hopefully we're gonna get one that's a 45 again, so I can do one more that's a 45 for you. Yeah, here's a, a hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle is the square roots of square root of six. So if it really helps, draw yourself a little dry triangle. This is the square root of six. These two sides, to get to them, I don't times by the square root of two. I divide by the square root of two or times by the square root of two over two, which that's going to be the square root of 12 over two, but that reduces. Maybe it's better to do square root of six over the square root of two, and then that's simply the one square root of six over two, which is just the square root of three, which this would have been the same thing because the square root of 12 simplifies to two square roots of three over two, the twos cancel, and again, we get the square root of three. So that shorter side, is the square root of three. Again, if you need help with your radicals and rationalizing and doing a square root, and you could use Pythagorean's theorem to solve for some of these, but again, write those ratios down, and I will help you in class. Let's submit that actually to make sure, yeah, see, that's right, and we will see you in class.